See that? 20, 21 millisecond ping right there, but absolutely terrible rollback experience. Why? Why is that? It's not a ping issue. Last time I played this guy, there was no problem. I just happened to run into a bad CF end day, and now I can't play this player. Why? See, like, there's more rollback compared to the 50 milliseconds ping that I had uh, against Shax earlier. And this time around, we're dealing with 20 milliseconds. Why? Why? Just, just why? This doesn't make sense. I've played this player before, it was laggy as hell. Last time it wasn't though, and Yash, I can tell you, the guy is from Germany. The IP, it comes from Germany, the ping is fine. How is that completely invincible? Bei Tekken ruckelt es genauso, wenn der Gegner WLAN spielt. Ja klar, wenn der Gegner WLAN spielt, aber ich glaube nicht, dass das bei den Spielern der Fall ist. Okay, so one thing that we cannot know for sure is, okay, is this guy playing on Wi-Fi, right? That's something we can't tell. But in a lot of cases, I've had exactly these kinds of experiences, knowing my opponent is not on Wi-Fi. What? The last attack just whiffed and I get, didn't get the stun. Wait, what? Why? And what? <laughs> Game is absolutely cheating on me here. Wow, I got robbed. I literally got robbed by the game. Yeah, I actually got robbed by the game. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> you lose. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm obviously, more. we need a, 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 a the ability to filter filter uh, Wi-Fi users. The reason why companies don't want to do that is because uh, on low level. You're basically uh, getting rid of 80% of your player base if you do that. So that in itself will create an issue because you're less likely to find players. Especially, this is especially true for low level players. And this is why companies are reluctant to add it. By the way, this is clearly one side of rollback, just so you know. I remember like last time I complained about this player being incredibly weak. Uh, so there's uh, apparently against this player in particular, there's uh, the issue that one side of rollback will dominate who's gonna be winning. Uh, sometimes this player plays like a, uh, a gold league player and other times I can't beat him. Um, it's an indication that rollback 
is responsible for this. Like, he currently does not have rollback because there is a good ping. And he, he can't easily react to everything that I'm doing. Which, uh... Like, if he anti-airs with hard kick, it means that there's no rollback on his end. You can't use a wired connection on PC, that sounds more like a U problem. Now the problem is, it's incredibly... Especially for our casual players, they, they simply won't bother adjusting their setup in their living room to have a wire run through the entire apartment, just so that some players uh, supposedly have a better experience. Um, I, I don't think this is common knowledge that Wi-Fi is actually bad for something like fighting games, because you can you can without issue browse the internet. You can watch a 4K movie on Wi-Fi. It's not a problem. Bandwidth is not a problem, right? And bandwidth is usually uh, what people are talking about when they're talking about speed, right? Every time when somebody asks me about my internet speeds, they're talking about bandwidth. So, so I think. In general, people think, oh, as long as I can watch a 4K movie, why can't I play a fighting game online? I think there's definitely uh, information missing on that. Probably because of connection quality. This is absolute shit. Oh wow, what is that? Another perfect is coming your way. Three bars. Oh, right, that's actually punishable, right? Oh, that's, uh... The game is so broken. The game is so stupid. I can't do critical art anymore for some reason. Oh, wow. Focus, Jimmy. Here's the thing. When I'm playing this matchup, I know I have to be focused because uh, my success rate against Chun is actually fairly low, and that's because I, I'm always like in this easygoing mode. But I know in order to win, I have to play like a tight match. Like, the fireball game is very, very important for your success rate against Chun. If you don't apply a proper fireball game, then you will simply lose. The, the way you saw me play this, this is exactly what you need to do. And I, like, I have a hard time just sticking to the plan. Uh, I just want to steamroll my opponents, especially if I see them being in low diamond. But it, it doesn't work very good against Chun. Chun is a character that can absolutely annihilate you for this type of idea.
Oh, I could have killed. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, uh, what a mistake on his end, but honestly, he had a chance to take this. The, by the way, the, the only damage that this guy does against me is from jump-ins. Like, he exclusively does damage from jump-ins. I didn't ma mean to do that. Okay. That was definitely not worth it, by the way. There's so many gambles that he can go for that are 100% in his favor. Mm. 
The only reason, by the way, why I got this match as a win was really because he was absolutely underestimating me. Because he was like, I'm gonna do whatever. I'm pretty sure he just autopiloted that match. Take a look at what he has to do in order to win. Oh, wow. doesn't seem like Daigo has a good understanding about frame data. I don't think that Daigo has uh, a very deep like understanding of frame data. Clearly, he's one of the players that will just test things out in training mode until he figures something out. Why it works doesn't matter. It's a tool that lets you understand things in a more efficient way, but it's really not necessary. Wow, I, tr I tried to challenge that. I'm trying to pop V trigger and I got a fireball when I pressed V trigger. That's really interesting. Oh, wow, he's really being not going in. I 
I don't have to do anything in order to win now. I literally don't have to do anything. So why would I do anything now? I don't have to do anything. He literally can't win anymore, even if he throws me. Time over. You win. 